Health and fitness is really emerging as a bigger issue with society today. American society is realizing that we're really lacking in the health and fitness areas of our lives. So health and fitness programs are important to help bridge that gap to educate the public about what they need to do um, in order to maintain their health. We do a lot of stuff down in the fitness center. Um, we actually get to use a lot of the treadmills and the bikes down there. We learn different testing that you can do there. And we basically take bike tests, treadmill tests, any kind of flexibility things just so that you can basically go through the whole range of motions for your body. I like how hands-on it is and you get to actually do the exercises and exercise testing. Well, students will learn um, how to educate patients and clients in regards to their health. Um, they learn about what is you know, the appropriate way to educate people. I try and make every single course really hands-on for the students. It is more than lecture-based because I give the students um, fake case studies that they need to create a nutritional program for. My favorite class is our strength and conditioning class. Our actual classroom is in the fitness center and in the field house itself. We don't have an in-class type of lecture. Class sizes are very small, so the people that you're with, you see them on a regular basis. So the people that you're with, you kind of get close to them, you know what they're doing, and you get a good bond with people that you're with in the school. Our main professor is Janet Parcel Mitchell. Uh, she is a athletic trainer as long as a strength and conditioning coach. Yeah, Janet is awesome. She really like takes the time to make sure you know what you're doing. But she's very, uh, very helpful, and she's certified in a number of different things, which you know. Uh, which allows us to kind of take advantage of her background and her certifications. I am a doctor of physical therapy, so I am very familiar with what the students need and require to become a PT if that is their choice. Um, I'm also a certified athletic trainer, and I'm also a certified strength and conditioning specialist. We have internship availability in our last semester of the program. A few of us have chosen to go work with strength and conditioning coaches uh, at the Division One level, and uh, you know some of us work in the community with community health. A lot of students will come through this program and use it as a bridging opportunity to continue with their education and go on to graduate school. It also meets a lot of the requirements that they would need if they wanted to continue on to be an occupational therapist or a physician's assistant. I really like that. With health and fitness, you can work in the sports industry and do, uh, do help develop athletes to become better athletes. I like working with community members. I like knowing the fact that what I'm doing can help people get back to where they were before they got injured. 